Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in, Alessandro the Crypto here, I hope you're doing all fine. So this is going to be a very short video, currently I'm packing and today I'm going to move again towards Switzerland, so we have a very long uh, drive today. So this video is a bit earlier than usual and very very short because I have to pack and run. So Bitcoin currently is breaking out here from the previous resistance of $9,600 to $9,500 and currently we are also forming here this nice support above the previous resistance. So right now we are at the last stage before testing here this $9,900 resistance that is coming up here. So watch out for this possible retest of this 10k area. I'm pretty confident that we're gonna see this test pretty soon, maybe even today. But for now I have closed all my long position that I also have shown you yesterday in my live stream because uh, right now it's a time to decide if you're able to break through here and start to build up support above 10k or are we getting rejected here and we see first a correction down again towards $9,200 and also correct in some altcoins before we're gearing up here for a possible breakout of $9,900. So this is why currently I'm out of my trade and I'm waiting here for a possible breakout from this resistance or in case that we're going to lose here the support of around 9700 currently. I might going to open a little short or just wait the price to come down and retest this area and then enter a new fresh long position so in the one hour time frame currently we are trading right at the 20 moving average is holding as a support like it did also here in the last couple of days we have stochastic oversold and RSI trading above the 50 so i'm expecting also here a possible bounce to the upside from the 20 moving average and a possible retest of this 9900 dollar and also if we switch over to the Bollinger Band in the one hour, you can see that after we're shooting it to the upside, currently we're retracing back into the middle line, which is a very bullish sign. We should see a bounce here from 9,600 and retest here is 9,760. So in case that you're still in a long position, maybe hold it or put a stop loss just to make sure that you are in profits. MACD had a bearish cross here, so it is possible that we could even go down here to test this 9560 level before we're going to see another bounce back up. And also keep in mind that the CME is closed at 9645. So wherever we are going during the weekend, we're going to have a new future gap here. So in case that you're looking for a new position like me right now, maybe also wait for tomorrow's opening when the traditional markets and the CMEs are going to open again and see if we're going to have a new future gap or not but at the other hand we have currently ethereum breaking very significant the resistance at around 300 dollar let's see if we can push through towards 350 that would be the next target but ethereum litecoin and some other coins are looking really really bullish right now and if bitcoin is able to break 10k we're gonna see big fireworks so in case that you're trading currently with a long then make sure to trade over on Bybit or BTART with uh, Ethereum, Litecoin or Bitcoin if you want to go the safe way because I think those coins will perform very well in the next couple of uh, weeks. Uh, so make sure if you're already holding some also maybe to open up some longs especially here on Bybit because here you can trade the Bitcoin and Ethereum directly with US dollar pair so you will get even more gains and you portfolio will rise up even more for the next uh, big parabolic run and now let's go back to Bitcoin and open up the four hour time frame because here also you can see that currently we're trading away above the 20 moving average which is at 9570 so it is possible that we retrace back down here today or maybe tomorrow so I'm still expecting a little correction in case that we're not immediately able to break here this $9,900. RSI and Stochastic are getting into very overbought uh, condition. We still have some room left but as you can see also here it's possible that we correct first down. Bollinger Band is also right at the top so also here correction down to the midline of around 9,580 is possible. MACD is still flat here could have a bearish cross in case that we're gonna correct here down. And if we go over to the daily time frame, here also we are right here very close at the main resistance line. If we're going to break down here, the target would be towards 9370 where the 20 and 50 moving average is lining up.
and also the RSI and stochastic are getting into overbought condition so it is possible that we're gonna see a correction maybe today or tomorrow so in case that we're gonna see here first a correction before a possible breakout of nine thousand nine hundred dollar then take it as a chance for a good long opportunity and a buy opportunity especially if you like me want to buy uh, some more altcoins so take it as an advantage here in case of a little correction and uh, we can also have a look in the Bollinger Band in the daily because also here we're still overshooting into the upside. So also here a correction down towards 9,400 is very likely, even though the MACD is still shifted to the upside. So here in the daily we are still very bullish. And if we have a look here in the weekly time frame, also here is still, in my opinion, the most bullish uh, chart because we are still uh, above the 15, the RSI, above the 20 weekly moving average. Stochastic also cooled a little bit off here. So also here we have again some room left to the upside. And in case that today we can close above this $9,500, so important is that today we're not falling below $9,500. If we can close a nice weekly candle above $9,500 and also above all these weeks that we had here in the last couple of weeks here to the upside but we closed them below uh, I think this could signal that we are in for a possible breakout of this $9,900 also the Bollinger Band has still a lot of room left to the upside we could go easily towards $11,000 MACD is shifted to the upside so also here on Bitcoin it looks like that we could have a possible breakout of $10,000 and then hopefully also we're going to start to create a support above 10k that is also very important so with that said guys I'm going to wrap it up for now don't forget to subscribe to the channel leave a like and also make sure to participate on every week's $10 worth of Bitcoin giveaway that is sponsored by BTArt. And if you need any kind of trading account like this one here on Bybit or BTArt, you can use the sign up links that you find down below here in the video description. Because with my links, you can get some sign up pony and also some rewards. So thank you very much, my friends, for watching. And we we'll see us all in the next one. Bye.